Hi, Brown Lake families. I'm Jen Cooper Wells, Social Emotional Learning and Student Development Coordinator for the district. We're in spring. Can you believe it? March is over. April is here. We're ready. What are you going to do to get ready for summer? So I want you to think about goals. What are those goals that you're going to need to accomplish, want to accomplish? And what I do and I want you to think about is why do we even have goals? Why are they so critical and why do we set them? So one, goals are going to help you to provide you with focus and direction. They're going to help to challenge you to grow. They're going to help you to drive and make action happen. And they're going to offer inspiration. So I want you to think about what are those things that you want to accomplish? What are your goals? What do you want to do with the month of April, the month of May, and set short-term goals? What do you want to do by June 1st? You can do the same process with your children. You can do it with your spouse. You can do it with a significant other, your family members, your friends. But I want you to come up with what is a goal that you can do and accomplish within the next two months. So here's five steps in order to help you create your spring goals. One, brainstorm. Take a piece of paper, literally write down anything and everything that you could possibly want to accomplish between now and June 1st. Then, as you're writing those down, because you're brainstorming in your brain, number two, you're writing them down. Number three, I want you to track your progress. So you're going to pick one of those that you brainstormed. You're writing down that one, highlighting it. And then I want you to come up with different ways that you're gonna track your progress. If it's you're gonna work out different times, certain number of times for the week. Okay, how are you gonna monitor that? How are you gonna keep track to make sure that you are actually meeting that goal? because we always wanna make sure that we can track our progress. Then, the fourth thing is I want you to check in frequently with someone else. Find an accountability partner who's gonna help encourage you, get you so that you are still motivated, you're still inspired, and that you're still moving forwards towards your goal. And then the last thing is celebrate. When you hit simple milestones, celebrate. What did you accomplish the end of April? What did you accomplish June 1st? Set those little goals within your big goal. So you're brainstorming. You're choosing one of those goals and you're writing it down. Then you're tracking your progress. How are you going to make sure you're actually reaching that goal? You're checking in frequently with someone else just to be an accountability partner and then celebrate. One thing that we struggle as humans is we always focus on the negative. And I want you to focus on the positives. If your goal is to lose weight and you lose a pound, congratulations. You're one pound less than what you were before. If your goal is to write down three things that you are grateful for at the end of every day, then write them down, go through. If you do that more times than what you have been doing, Congratulations. I want you to find reasons to celebrate. So for the next two months, focus on what is your goal that you want to accomplish by June 1st. Make sure that you're tracking your progress and you're celebrating along the way. Have a great week.